Hey guys, what's up? We have this one window in the bathroom which is nice to let some light in. But these old mini blinds really don't look good and also when you open them you don't have any privacy. We considered new blinds but there is nothing really out there that will let more light in, maintain privacy, and be suitable for a bathroom environment. That's when I came across this product. It's a translucent window film. They come in many different types and designs. I'll leave a link in the description for the product that we used in this video. To start this project, I went ahead and removed the window curtains. Next I moved on to removing the old mini blinds. First I took off the blind face which was just held on by some clips. Then I removed the mini blind mount lock and was able to slide the mini blinds out from the mounts. Lastly, I unscrewed the mini blind mounts and removed them from the window frame. We can see here that there are now holes in the window frame and in my case an old paint color from under the blind mounts. I went ahead and filled in the holes with spackling compound and I will come back with some touch up paint after that dries. As a note, you could always just leave your old blinds in place and have them in the up position, but I opted to remove them for a cleaner look. Now we can get on to the privacy film. These basic instructions show to take measurements of the windows, cut the film, clean the windows, and apply the film by removing the protective backing and evenly placing the film onto the window. So I went ahead and took my measurements of the windows. They both look to be the same size, but it is best to confirm that. Next, I took the film down to my workbench. There are many ways you could cut the film, but I found this to be the easiest to get clean, accurate lines. You will need a few things to hold down the corners of the film, something to mark your measurements, and something to take the measurements, a razor blade, your measurements for the windows, and a straight edge. After you have rolled out the film, mark the vertical and horizontal measurements. In my case, I added a quarter inch to the measurements I had to get a little bit of extra film than the actual size of the window. I will explain this later in the video and you can consider it if you want to do this. Otherwise, cut to the measurements that you took of the window. Once you have your measurements marked, line up your straight edge and guide the razor blade down the side for one clean straight cut. So you've cut out the film that you need, now it is time to clean the windows. You can see on my windows that there is still some dirt and smudges on the outside, but we aren't worried about that and you won't be able to see that through the film. Okay, so it is finally time to apply the film. The green tool that I have is a film squeegee. I just happen to have this from a different project. But if you don't have one, you could use something like a credit card. You want to start the film on the corner. Start to remove the backing of the film, but don't pull it all the way off at first. Start the film on the corner of the window and check the vertical and horizontal alignment. Once you have it aligned, slowly remove the backing and apply it to the window. This film does not have a sticky backing. It is held on by friction and static cling. This is great because you can adjust it as necessary and don't need to be a professional at applying film. Also, if you ever choose to remove it, it pulls right off with no residue left behind.
Go around all the edges with your squeegee and make sure that they are nice and secure. Now we will see why I decided to leave some extra film when making my cuts. Now that I have placed the film, I am able to use my razor blade to cut off the excess. This allows me to get an exact fitment of the film on the window. If you try to cut the film to your window measurements, you may end up having some gaps depending on how good the measurements and cuts were. So just be aware of that. Alright, one window down. Now on to the next window. The process is virtually the same. I sped this clip up but wanted to leave it in the video so that you can see the technique that I am using to apply the film. You will see that I start in the one corner and work my way down. This will make sure that there are not air bubbles trapped behind the film and also ensure that the film is applied evenly. I mentioned earlier that the film does not have a sticky backing, and you can see here that I actually had to reposition the film. This film is really easy to work with with some patience. After you have the film aligned, slowly remove the film backing and use your squeegee to apply the film to the window. Here I come in with that touch up paint now that the spackle has dried and put the curtains back up. There you have it, the window film is done and those old mini blinds are gone. This improved the appearance of the window even more than we thought. The bathroom almost feels bigger. It definitely lets in more light but we still have full privacy in the bathroom. That's all for this video, thanks for watching and as always, you can do it.